All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later, or select a different ship. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. You're Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later, or select a different ship. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later, or select a different ship. Just realized my mic was turned off, so I apologize. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just finishing up editing this video so it makes sense to YouTube. Because apparently Star Citizen is not recognized automatically by my computer anymore when I stream. Uh, Kind of open these pads clear up. Either that or we're going to spawn the Terrapin. I guarantee there's just like a couple <laughs> reclaimers sitting outside right now. It's quite annoying. Alright, let's spawn the Terrapin. And there's also a couple other ships. They added the Warlock. I've never flown that before. The like EMP. I'm getting pretty bad frames. I think it's everybody's trying to spawn a reclaimer at the moment around here. So my hope is if I can get to Your ship has been uh, delivered to the following landing pad. Levski or somewhere else and then just log back in, I'll have a smoother experience because I also want to test out, I guess they said they did some improvements on Levski. Supposedly. Hey, what's up, Sir Captain? Yes, this is the latest patch. I don't know what they're calling it yet. I literally loaded up this morning and got it. Uh, yeah, some people must be just constantly trying to spawn reclaimers. Where are we headed? We're headed over here. To the Terrapin. Yeah, I saw like four people <laughs> going to the same... Same place, all trying to do the same thing. Let's see how many reclaimers are spawned out here right now. When I was playing and not streaming, I was getting a solid F 30 FPS, but that's also before all of these things are spawning. There's one Reclaimer. Oh, people are... That's pretty cool. Let me see one. Let's see. 
We'll definitely see the others. All right, this is the Terrapin, though. I'm getting ready to upload some 4K tours of this and the Reclaimer, as well as every other ship now that we have access to them. But it takes a little while to render those, and while I'm here, I want to be playing this game. Oh, I just closed it. This does have, I think, the coolest door that it opens. Watch how it just, like, telescopes, or telescopes out. So let's get out of Alasar, get away from these reclaimers. Does like a ooh, little transportation thing. It's a little transformer. See, there's only one reclaimer there. It's weird. That's kind of cool, they added like a ticking noise to the radar. I'm gonna go to Daymar. Oh, definitely need to adjust my controls before I go flying, I apologize. Turn all this way down, because I can control it on my mouse. It's a much smoother experience for you, <laughs> so I'm not jerking the spaceship around. We're just tanking in frames right now. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if we crashed before we got there. ship for sure this would honestly look really cool on the Polaris I think because it does have uh, I think two size four guns on it I'm 
coming up here on the ski pretty quick actually. It's got 1200 top speed, so look, it's as fast as a lot of fighters. Should probably slow down to be honest. See if Levski crashes, crashes us with all these AIs. I'm breaking as hard as I can right now. So the braking may be not that great, irresponsive, but. Uh, Somebody just crashed. Overall, can't complain. All right. <laughs> this boy needs to slow down before we die. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we can even land this thing. Reload this game. So I want to see if that room in Levski that I keep having issues in is at all better. Because we, we've <laughs> basically tested it on each patch. Alright. Let's level out. Here's a menu. It's got a lot of panels you can customize. It's kind of nice. All right, where you want me? There it is. Let this beetle go back into the ground. Well, I'll get the two frames a second I'm getting right now is uh, pretty brutal. Yeah, we did it. Incomplete. Have a pleasant stay. Turn it all off. Get out of this thing. Let's go inside. Suicide. And then we'll be good. Gonna try two things. So we're gonna about, you know, half is what it, half the frames I was getting when I was playing earlier. Probably because I'm streaming in 1440p. But I think I'm gonna mess up my user game big file. Terrapin. It's, it's a nice little ship. I like it. It's quick, nimble, but the braking apparently sucks. Or I suck with it.
customs. Not good guys. <laughs> My character does not like this. Look at his face. Tell me you like 3.1. Tell me! I like it! I like 3.1! Alright, let's see. Let's kill ourselves. See if we respawn here. Let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's see what let's see what we were rocking at usage wise with this patch compared to the other day. As expected, all the GPU is used for sure. so much on the CPU, but definitely more than it was in the previous patches, and I think probably more uh, memory than has been used, so I guess that's to be to be expected for sure. So let's go in here, open up our user config file. I'm going to change something. We're going to test running it at 1080p. And I also have the field of view turned up. So we're going to turn the field of view down to 40. Go 1080p and see where that gets us. Go ahead and relaunch the game and see if we get any better frames. Uh, probably streaming doesn't really help this too much, but, you know. Hey, what is the armor on your wallpaper? That is the armor from 2.6. This is from Arc Corp. This is a photo I took with a director's mode in-game. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It was one of the pirate armors. You had like three. I think this was the medium or light armor, and then this was the medium. It's one or the other. And then the heavy one kind of looked like Fallout armor. But welcome to the chat, Josh. That's from 2.6, and I think they're reworking it. It's going to be in the game. I think I've seen photos slash video of it. Oh, I wonder if this will, let's see, run this and get what we're running FPS wise, maybe. So we're loading into Australia right now. Let's see what time it is there. It's 8 a.m. in Melbourne. And it's 5 p.m. where I am. Josh Week says that armor looks dope. 
have you played with the cyclone yet? I played with it the first patch they gave us for PTU, and there was like a really bad rubber banding, and then they took it out, and hopefully it's fixed and better. We can go, we can spawn that right now. That's easy, I'm at left ski. We can go mess around with that, because not really looking to mess around with the Reclaimer in the PTU, just because right now it's pretty laggy um, with everybody doing it. And everybody wants to spawn one, so it's like until you get one where you don't have to worry about that. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright, rocking a solid 15 FPS. It's slowly going up, probably as it uses RAM and shit. Double check that it uh, is running what it's supposed to be. 1080p, there you go. So these are supposed to be supposed to be major performance improvements made to the scheme. I'm also getting 200 and 300 millisecond ping. Let's see if this goes away. I just want to know how to get the black cyclone. It's in one of the pictures. It would go well with the cutlass black. It fits in there when the release of the report out everyone. Yes, apparently it does fit in there. I've seen some video of that. I think the board, board gamer was messing around with those. Seeing what all the ships you could fit inside the new ships. Certainly f fit a lot of uh, ships inside of that cyclone. This is a brutal response time I'm getting. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to connect to a different one. And or, if that doesn't work, which has been the case the last few patches, because they were doing like stress tests. We'll just go mess around with the Reclaimer and walk around in the uh, Arena Commander. Because either a bunch of people are on that server and it's about to crash or someone else is up. Let's uh, try USA. Let's see how terrible that server's servers at today. USA always seems to be the the laggiest for me, even though I'm in the US. Maybe it won't be. Josh Weeks, I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? I've been messing around with 3.1, the patches that they've had, and the trials and tribulations of those. I like your profile picture. It's pretty silly. How long will it take us to load? Infinite loading screen simulator. We might be caught in one actually. It's a possibility. We'll give it about ten more seconds, but that could be the case. 
Oh, nope, I think we're actually, we are loading in. I think it's just taking a very long time. Josh Week says, good. I went clubbing for the first time last night. I use his profile because it looks like the one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's not very nice, but if it's true, that's pretty funny. And I hope you had a good time clubbing, but glad you made it home safe. Alright, I think we might be an infinite load screen simulator. Based on this. See how we're kind of like at the same FPS and the same millisecond constantly. And nothing's happening in our console. That generally means your, your game is, for whatever reason, caught in the infinite loading screen. So we'll just go ahead and end it real quick. I haven't been on 3.0 in a few days. How's that running? And if anybody in the, the chat has been messing with that, probably pretty good. Because now they've been asking for like volunteers and stuff for the PTU. So I think uh, most people who want the PTU can have access to it. Especially if you want to test like specific things. You're good to go. Let me load up a reclaimer so you guys can see. Just, just to show you how large it is. Josh says they both have tic tac shaped heads. <laughs> it's pretty good comparison. Clubbing was fun until I saw the pictures today. I look horrible in all of them. And I get an average of 26 frames on 3.0. What are your system specs, Josh? And that's pretty funny that that's what your friends look like. So here she is, the reclaimer. five more frames than I was getting yesterday in this game with this latest patch in Arena Commander, so that's good. Yesterday's patch, they were doing like stress tests and stuff, and I was getting like 50 millisecond lag with about 30 frames. This is my max. It's not fun. But this is running much better. So here it is. You can see us kind of like right in the front. We're at the front of the ship in the middle of the screen to the right. That little cockpit there. But this is a massive ship. Like I have not explored all this. I've made it about I think two thirds of the way around this ship. But you can see the tractor beam and like the handles to grab the ships underneath. The four engines. And then let's let's deploy the landing gear just so you can see what it does. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like a dinosaur or like a dragon or something like that. 
There is that engine glitch for whatever reason, where the engine lights like don't follow the engines. They don't shut off, but then once they're in there, they're good. <laughs> but let's go ahead and deploy the landing gear and hop out of the ship and walk around it. Hey, what's up, Foggy? Yeah, this is awesome. This is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I was looking just at how big this map is. I'm pretty sure this is like as big as some multiplayer game modes and maps and possibly like Call of Duty. This is a huge ship once we look inside of it. There's the turrets on top, the turrets on bottom, all that stuff. You can see, kind of referencing these landing pads. Everybody's been on these landing pads. You can fit like most of the fighters on these these pads. It's pretty big. So you know, let's head out of our ship. You have a ten sixty eight gigabyte, sixteen gigabytes RAM, and then the. 70k. Nice. Just the size of the ship, Froggy says, scares me. Yeah, it's going to be really fun to interact with in the PTU, I think. Because a lot of people have this ship. So here's the cockpit. And it's pretty for a ship of its size, and for what it is, it's like a great, great cockpit, I think. They did a real good job on it field of view is great. These are going to be like the tractor beam seats. It's this, the tractor beam operator seat. This is another beam operator seat. You kind of get the alien vibe from this ship also. Definitely feels like the Nostromo from the Alien series or the Prometheus from the sequels recently. These are like remote turret stations which are kind of cool. Scanning stations are also here. But this would just be like, I mean, any support crew would be out here kind of making sure. Any salvage is good as well as nobody's coming and trying to kill the kill the captain crew the captain's dudes also uh, so up here got a really cool elevator shaft we can call this elevator get ready to go up that it's a pretty big elevator I think you could probably fit a, fit a squad of dudes on there this is the salvage viewing station, I guess you'd call it. Ooh. What's this? Use engineer station. So I guess this this would probably maybe be once they figure it out uh, on and off maybe controls for this, emergency shut off, that sort of stuff probably. That's pretty cool though, the access panel. So you'll notice they have like arrows pointing to stuff. It's just kind of like a worksmanship. What card are you using? I'm using a 970. Uh, my system spec should be in the description of the video. Uh, I'm getting ready to upgrade though. See, what, see what's out there. But we have a ladder that goes up to the next deck, but we're going to take the elevator because it's pretty cool. The 970 was outperforming my six or 1060, so I swapped it out. Which is ex kind of expected, you know? So there's the elevator to this this level here. The 
these could definitely be really cool hallways to fight through. You know? We were talking about a couple orgs that I chat with. This is definitely going to be a good ship to, to breach and fight. Gravity well generator keeps us keeps us working. Cool if you could turn it off. Right here we've got the drone room. You notice on the sides of the walls there's the grav generator room. It's all labeled and there's arrows to it. So you have two turret operator seats here, or drone operators, excuse me. And then if you go into this room, I imagine you'll be able to like equip your drones with different guns, different equipment. Looks like this this could theoretically have five drones, four stored and one one on the platter maybe. That would be my guess. head down these. Actually, let's go up to this turret. I've never never been up this ladder yet. This does also remind me a lot of Alien Isolation, some of the environments in there. So. What is this room? Where it said turret access. This could be like where you store your cargo and stuff. This is kind of a cool room though. The very top of the ship. Interesting. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know what that room is for, because I certainly don't. Some really cool... Just features on the side of the ships. I hope they can utilize... Like, some of the hallway tech, and... Some of the corridors and other things. It's very well done. It's very cool. All the little computers, and bits and bobs. And all the noises. There's the drone room from the outside. And then these rooms are kind of like, I forget what this is. Yeah, this one's like a computer room, and I think the other one is escape pods. But I imagine this would kind of be a vital room to power, is what it looks like to me. So maybe if you're power and cooling, ship gets under attack and your shields go down, maybe someone would have to run down here and repair it. And then this room is the escape pods. For the drone operators, there's only three, so... Hopefully you only have three people on your crew down here that need to escape. Maybe other people have ships. So as you walk this way, this is kind of like what begins the butt of the ship. It looks like a giant school bus. This is where the guy fell on the table and the alien busted out of his chest. I like the crew quarters, it's pretty cool. And then this is like a a way out. So you could just dock and that's how people would get into your ship. Crawl over. And then this begins the corridor of the actual school bus, I believe. And this is like a multi-tiered level 
more or less apartment complex. There's so many rooms. So let's go to the crew quarters first, which is on the right here. You got lockers. You got a pretty good bathroom with a creepy mirror that doesn't show your reflection. What do you think about that? You can't see yourself in a mirror. I wonder if he's contemplating his existence right now. Some showers. Individual showers, not a group shower. As some people were hoping. And also individual beds, not just one giant spinny group bed like some people had hoped. The bunk beds are pretty cool, I like them though. I think they're very functional for the space. And they still look pretty cool. Not much privacy though. Not much privacy. Captain's quarters, however, this is the place. This would be your morning briefings probably would happen in here. And crew sits down, captain spins in his chair, tells them their business, and then they go about and do it. Let's see what's he been snacking on some some goji berries and blueberries. So he's he's obviously like a vegetarian, vegan, probably non GMO. He's got a nice little bed, a little more spacious. It's almost as big as one of the normal bunks, but he's he's taking it up just by one person. But uh, we got a locker, and then he's got himself a little little bang, and I mean uh, a shower, just a little shower. Also, the creepy look at that toilet. <laughs> That's creepy. It's like the old '80s video games that use the perspective to load stuff in. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Game Boy Advance game. Got your little outfits, lockers. And then if we head to our left, we'll go further down this hallway. They're working on that. What are you talking about, Foggy? So this gets us to the back of the ship. Somebody needs to take care of this. This has been. That looks dangerous, right? very aggressive. That's going to melt something. So we have an airlock here. Oh, those are those are cool. Those are awesome. I can't wait till that armor is in the game. Let's break this glass. Take it. Put it on. Get rid of this green armor. Yeah, those are slick. Oh, this is... This is very well done. And then you're outside the ship. Oh! <laughs> and then we just vacated the corridor, I guess. It's okay, guys. Let's get a perspective of where we are. You see the crew quarters and the captain's quarters there to the right. There's the rest of the school bus. Front of the school bus. I guess you could dock here. Also, this kind of looks like a better air dock, honestly, than the, the previous one. So we'd have to close this. Close this. Do the little airlock mechanic, come in here, and then everybody would be safe and nobody would die. <laughs> but I think if anybody was in that room when we did that, I, with clothes on, I think they probably would have died, right? At least they should have. Another airlock on the other side. Got some ladders to some other decks. But this is an elevator. This is like the main elevator right here. Sorry, the mirrors. Oh, render targets. Okay, that would be cool. I guess I guess we can't have it all. So we so we get in this elevator and not this thing again. This happened to me earlier. 
I fell. And I couldn't get up. So you like fall through it. But there's an easy way around this. Ooh, he did not like this. He's losing blood fast, guys. <laughs> we bled out. So the FPS is more stable in 3.1. So this is in the final 3.1 patch, and they've been slowly stress testing their servers with 3.1. So on and off, they've been updating the PTU with patches pretty much every single day. And that's led to some that both run terribly and like get like 15 frames a second. And then you get some like this where I'm... This is, this is pretty good. But we'll go back towards our other reclaimer because we'll be able to see I did not know you could control those where are these where's this other reclaimer we gotta we gotta go blow it up it's by the landing pads which I have no idea where they are I think they're above us maybe literally right above us Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so this is a way you can actually spawn a lot of reclaimers or ships. If you suicide and we're in a commander right now in the PTU, you can like all spawn. So people are having issues with their buddies not being able to spawn. Um, stuff in 3.0, this is like a way around it, at least that I found. That laser is so loud in the planets. Let's check out the damage stations in these bad boys. Drifting away. Disappear. I mean, it's pretty. There you go. That's an explosion. But to answer your question, Zachariah, yes, 3.1 is a lot more stable, and the FPS are a lot better, at least from my experience. From 3.0 to 3.1, major improvements. So let's go ahead and land the school bus and continue our tour. take this ladder up since we didn't get to see that ladder where it ends up. Welcome to the chat, Zachariah, as well. And Chris Hoffman. Thank you for letting us know what that's called. So ladder takes you right by the gravity well generator. skedaddle down back to where we were. 
see what I mean about this ship being huge? Like, this is a... Might as well be a space station you just got yourself. It's massive. Quarters, captain's quarters, all that stuff we already checked out. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. You just have to, like, get over that. It's something to do with this mechanic and how close it is to the sides. So if you go over here, we're going to start at the top first. The salvage balcony, the habitation deck, the salvage processing, salvage holding, the cargo hold, and then the exit to the surface. All in this back section. So here's the salvage balcony. Ideally, I mean, if you were taking salvage from other people, taking stuff in and out, you'd probably, you know, want to have security up here. This would be your Marines. And or just anybody you want to watch what's going on. Because there's no way directly up to this without using an elevator, so you're kind of protected. And you have a shot and a vantage point over pretty much your entire salvage room. Which is what you want. And it keeps you out of the way of the salvage. So this is the top level. From here... the how do we call this elevator is it right here yep there it is makes sense we'll hop in here head down to salvage processing as I think this is what we were just looking at I'm not sure what's up Savine how's it going welcome back rest in peace everyone's wallet who bought this ship yeah I guess uh, what is it going for 430 or something like that so yeah, this is where we were just looking at. I wanted to see if these opened. I don't think they do. It doesn't look like it. No. So you can put cars in here. You can literally do whatever you want. That doesn't... This has to open, right? The salvage lift. Doesn't look like there's any controls. Maybe it's further below. Let's go back in here. Looks like there's a whole other level below us. So yeah, you could just, I don't know, level by level have dudes clear this place out. That would be super fun. Habitation deck, where were we on? That's where we came from. We want to go to salvage processing, I think, below us. Or no, we just came from there. Habitation deck is right here, right? Can we take us up one? And that's where we came from. So that takes you to the front of the ship. That's what you'd be working towards. Oh, so you'd have to come come on this elevator. You'd go to this door. You'd open it up and have to fight your way down that hallway. That would be super fun. Salvage hold, I think we just came from. So we're going to the cargo hold next, I believe. 400 GDP. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like 600 bucks. Alright, so here's this room. This is really cool. So you could drop down below here, right? And maybe this is one of the remote stations that would operate this. And then dump. Dump your cargo down here. You dump your scrap metal and then you'd have to take it elsewhere. This is a really cool level. It's kind of like could see people come in, but you couldn't fight them. Yeah, this ship is huge on the inside, uh, Zachariah. So, where we are. Let's go to the cargo hold, I guess. Further down. One more level. I have not been here yet. Jeez. This is a full-size elevator inside this ship. So, what, you can fit in. at least two rovers in here for sure. Maybe three rovers. And then, 
Is this just cargo or does it open? No, this is just cargo. Oh! This is just a glitch. It's, it's all a glitch. Let's find a... There's a door. There's an airlock. Captain... Pretty smooth airlock experience, I'm not gonna lie. Getting in just some ships from outer space is kinda glitchy. Not at all. Close that, and then where are we heading? This way? Yeah, here's the elevator. It doesn't have a ramp for a rover. Really, it does not. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, that cargo hole I guess you can't really use. Does it have this elevator though, right? Let's see. We went to the, let's exit to the surface. Cargo hold. Can I walk around on this without going EVA when it deploys? That's cool. That's a cool feature in itself, just being able to walk out here in space. The ship could probably drive around and be alright. Alright, let's see. Could we drive a rover on here? These go down? Oh yeah, you could dude, you could definitely load this thing up with rovers. You don't need a you don't need a ramp, you got a elevator. Take this elevator. Rover's on it. Somebody's operating this. We go to any one of these. Let's see if we can fit it through the door of the cargo hold. Is it meant to do surface stuff? It's a salvage ship. It's meant to do whatever. Yeah, you can definitely probably fit a rover in there. No problem. What about this door? The salvage holds. You could literally just load this thing up with rovers. Top to bottom. Seven rovers in there. Probably. I don't know. Salvage processing. Can we get some in there? Oh, for sure. This is 20, probably fit 20 rovers in this thing. If you really wanted to, right? Drive them down here, park them. Three deep here, three deep here. You're talking nine rovers in this room just alone. It's a lot of rovers. I don't think the Cutlass Black would fit. I mean, how many dragonflies could you? I you could probably you could fly a dragonfly inside this ship. That would be kind of funny. This could be like a gladiator's room, honestly. That's what this room is. Two men enter, one man gets to leave. Oh. This is a huge ship. Cannot believe this thing exists. This is also a big deal because it also just like none of their pipelines for any of the crazy stuff like object container streaming. None of that's in yet, so they're doing this without any of their kind of performance tweaks to the game. It's very impressive that this is actually able to work at all. So let's run out here into space. Pretty seamless. Let's just go back and see how big we are compared to the engines. So this is a small engine. It's kind of what we're in terms of scale. 
There's the big engine. Yeah, we could host like a biker gang with dragonflies and noxes. I'm down. And we gotta get that. We gotta get that working. When this comes out to the public, hit me up. Start a biker gang on a reclaimer. So here's how. Jeez, these are the landing pistons. Go to like the engines. You could literally have battles on the outside of this ship. Just like in and out of the pistons. I don't know. It's a little glitchy. That's crazy. See, look at how even the turrets are huge. Oh my gosh. What kind, of, how, what kind of guns are these? Size 6 or 7? No idea how to get to that. <laughs> Turret either. That's, oh my gosh, look at the front. It looks like a constellation. Got a mini constellation cockpit up at the top of your ship. Zachariah says, well, I mean, when the game is fully functional, there shouldn't be issues with ships not being able to be lifted by the elevator. Oh, yeah. And Savine says the ship has a specific hitbox for vehicles that do not work for rovers like the Nox and Dragonfly, only the Grey Cat based on my testing. Why? Because it was made for salvage. So they just like bounce around or they won't work inside of the ship at the moment is what you're saying Savine so it looks like we have there's the hatch habitation dock hatch right there so this is all the cargo holds and stuff we're kind of flying over right now and I think if we go to the back of the ship we'll see whatever that elevator is Maybe. There's gotta be like something over here. It's just like some sort of cargo track. I don't know. Oop. Got too close, I guess. Cargo lift. There it is. So who knows? Maybe that'll be a functional thing at some point. The turrets are certainly cool. I like that they're kind of controlled by the player flying the ship at the moment. It's a nice little feature. But yeah, just look at this. This is a huge ship. And then here's our air dock. More or less a little space station. Mag locks. What's up, uh, Rabid Ninja? I'm not sure what you mean by mag locks. I'm not, not sure what that means. So let's go back to the front of the ship. Just gonna take a few seconds. Go give the captain a message. This honestly reminds me a lot of uh, the first Halo ship. Forward into Dawn, I think is what it's called, right? Captain! So we this made it all the way back to the captain's quarters. Took like 30 seconds, running full speed. But you want to know what happens when you get to the captain's quarters? You die. Alright, let's exit out of this. Imagine the javelin. That would be pretty crazy. Definitely the javelin is something I'm looking forward to. 
Zacharias said, the rover fits in the constellation with quote on quote maglox. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, quote unquote. I've tested the. I see. I know what you're talking about now. So what else do we have to test out? Let's do. Did I miss it? Where's the terrapin? There it is, anvil. Um, Rabid Ninja, basically, basically what he's talking about is like when you land another ship inside of another ship, will it bounce around and act like it's part of the ship, or will it kind of act independently and move around according to how you're moving, so it just jostles around in your cargo bay. This is the Terrapin. It's a pretty cool little, I think it's a Pathfinder, like, explorer's ship. It does have two two guns underneath that are decent. But let's exit out. It's pretty tiny. They're gonna sell Port Alsar at one week. Mark my words. They're gonna sell Port Alsar at one point. Oh, like that size of ships. I mean, I believe it says. Uh, who just said that? Josh, not not entirely out of the question. Uh, Tijorn, welcome to the chat. Can you fit the cyclone inside the reclaimer? I think you could. I have not tried myself, so don't quote me on that. All right, so here's the Terrapin's cockpit, as you can see. Kind of like a little hallway. To then you have a support chair here, which I guess is going to be like a scanning station, right? Mapping station. Got your little your beds and all that good stuff. Microwave, shower, bath, bathrooms. So you can kind of make this ship your home temporarily. It's got probably the coolest, coolest ramp in the game right now. I think. Open and close that. I right, I can try to test it. See if we can put a cyclone in there. Sabine, it's locked in place by the system which registers the rover in place. He's talking about the mag locks, Rabbit Ninja. The Explorer Turtle, yes, that's what this does look like. I, Zacharias's space stations will be able to be owned by player orgs on official release. I could just, at very least, the truck stops, I think, will be in, spa in sort of stations on planets will be able to. We'll see about that size of orgs or like, you know, see how that goes. Let's, let's get the game going first, but I am not doubting that that will be in the game at some point or that they're thinking about doing that. That's very, very possible. Does anybody in the chat have 3.1? Because I... I think we could spawn a cyclone, but I kind of need uh, another person to pilot it, because I can only spawn one ship right now. Here's the Terrapin, as you can see, kind of looks like a turtle or a beetle, with a bunch of little, looks like a turtle, let's be honest. That's what it is, it's got a little scanning station on top. It's a little shell protecting it. But yeah, I like this. I like this ramp. Definitely pretty slick. Let's see if we can go to the PTU, get a little better better stability. Rabbit Ninja, no, I'm a scumbag backer. I don't I'm not good enough for it yet. LOL. <laughs> Become a subscriber. And get it for free. Alright, let's go to the universe. 
I guess here's what I could do. I could probably go to my hangar, right? This will spawn a... Let's see if this will spawn a reclaimer. Let's see what we can stuff inside the reclaimer. I don't think it'll spawn in here. I don't think it's too big enough, right? There's no way. Size 3 vehicle. It's gotta be like a size... Something crazy. It's gotta be at least size 5. I don't think I can do this. Eh. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> we are going to the PTU. Rebbe Ninja says... It is available to subscribers. Yes. Subscribers get it for free. Josh says I only spent 150. Rabbit Ninja says I only spent 783. <laughs> yeah, I've not spent too much money. I got I got a Starfire and some smaller ships, but that's about it. Hopefully the cyclone is fixed. Like I want to just drive run around before I do anything with it. That reclaimer is massive. It's the biggest ship I've ever seen. Honestly, I think it might be the biggest ship I've ever seen in a game that's like flyable. Tell me another a game that you can fly something bigger. Zachariah says I've spent a decent amount, got the Saber Comet. Saber Raven. I like the fighters. Josh says I want to get my hands on the Black Cyclone with the turret. He says just wait until the Javelin comes out and then the carriers. <laughs> yeah, those fighter carriers are going to be pretty crazy. And, uh... Yeah, the, the Cyclones look... And just the ground vehicles are coming out with all look really cool. And I think they're all going to be more valuable than people realize. Redeemer and a Terrapin. This is Rabbit Ninja. Nice. That's a pretty good, good selection. We're doing a little better on frames here. I think it must have been that server we were on. Get about 20 at Levski. Let's see if this is the room that was giving us trouble. It's like the outside corridor. And a great cat. Yeah, I've got a great cat too. The retribution is going to be mind-boggling. Not sure if I know what that one is, to be honest. So we're getting 13 frames. This room used to tank down to like four. So whatever was an issue in here is definitely fixed. So good. Hats off to you guys for sure. Definitely some performance increases in Levski from the last patch. We're going to head up to the top lobby, spawn ourselves a cyclone, because that's another question I have. Transport beacon detected. Viper 311 has requested transportation to Grimhex, payment service 150. That's slick. Service beacons are so cool. This is awesome. Let's uh, spawn this. What do they have? We've got all the Apoxes. Or not Apox. Noxes. Cyclone. No, it's a trap. It could be. Could be. 
I'm not sure what ship I would take there if wouldn't be the caterpillar. Or I could go there and just kill him. But he's asking for transport. So this is the outside of Grimex Red at two. Or not Grimex, Levski. Definitely tanking down in the frames. <laughs> All right, men. This is kind of funny. Seeing these dudes like that. Transport to Jump Town. I don't know what Jump Town is. Anybody know what Jump Town is? That's pretty funny. This is that little, little green dude's waiting. Alright, back to what we were doing. The Retribution is a super dreadnought. Hell no. That's crazy. Josh, I, it, I need one because it's well out of date for the new tech. It needs a rework, I guess. Is rabid. Enter the driver's seat. Let's see. So this had a really bad rubber banding issue the last time I tried to drive this. Seems to be pretty stable. I think they fixed it, boys. Yeah, this baby looks fixed. Ooh, this is fun. Looks like I'm picking one of these boys up. She can turn on a dime. Super quick. Oh my gosh. Maybe they fixed it? Kind of looks like it's still doing it third person. Yeah, it does. Not in first, though. It's like once you reach a certain speed... Pretty slick. fun to drive. Still a bit glitchy, but I think they fixed it for the most part. You can kind of see. Let's see if we go from this side, if we can see the river bay. See what I mean? Kind of like doubles back every so often. Oh, and then we hit a rock. can do it. No. Ooh. 
I'm not gonna lie, it kinda drives drives smoother. Viper 309 is a crest of the jump town. I wonder what jump town is. So pretty. What do you guys think of the cyclone? Yay or nay? Take it off some more sweet jumps. Rock City right here. Look at all these rocks. Ugh. just want to turn around and get off these rocks. Oh no. Let's say we did not just get ourselves stuck, did we? Oh yeah, the, the cyclone definitely needs some stabilization. See that? It says derelict. 7,800 meters away. Let's investigate. frames a second right now, so that's not helping at all. the right way. This just appeared. I don't know if this is a service beacon or if this is just something that shows up now. crash with this memory leak issue that happens in this game. It's pretty far out here. 6,000 meters.
we're just tanking. Generally means the server's slowly going downhill. Six thousand meters away. Fly there in like two seconds on a plane. Or even one of the Noxes. able to like drive over rocks it's kind of funny you know your boy is gonna fly the cyclone to Alasar and run people over as they f go for their ships that's not very nice dude someone's always got to be grieving somebody always is a has to grief but in Star Citizen you can grief how you want to Hitting the max on a page file. That's what I'm thinking. That's my theory. Oh. frames a second. Here's our cyclone journey. <laughs> Five frames a second. Four thousand meters away. See, this would be super fun to ride. Anything more than what we're getting right now. And here we have the cyclone slideshow, pretty much. Oh. Let's just try some stupid. I'm gonna get out of the cyclone. Let's see if we get any better frames. I doubt it, but... No, 
Nope, this server seems to be forever, forever a slideshow. Well, that's not very fun. Not fun at all. We're going to get out of that space real quick. I want to I want to see something real quick. I'm probably gonna end the stream in probably like five minutes, but we're gonna mess with the game real quick. Uh, I'm gonna be back on in a little bit streaming, but I have to eat and take some some other things, you know. Uh, here's what we want to do. Head to control panel. What am I looking for? Is it system information to get into? Nah, it's not. I'm trying to remember how. Where the fuck is. file, Windows 10. How do you use it? System properties. This is in here. Go to system. That's what we're looking for. Whoops. Control panel. Here we go. This is what we want. See here's the page file system. It's twenty megabyte or twenty gigs. I'm gonna bump this up to forty gigs. Right? No, I need to add another zero. Enable those. Let's try this one time. <laughs> Josh says, "Love you and leave you." It's eleven eleven at night right now. I have college in about seven hours. We'll get some sleep, Josh. You can watch this this stuff later. this does for us. 
because we were maxing out like our memory usage was maxing out about 20 gigs and that's what I had that page file system on my C drive set to so what I'm trying to do is see if I increase that page file system will it make the game run longer with this memory leak basically Currently, let's see if we're loading. Yeah, we're loading. Loading something. Right, I think, I think we're about to load it. So if you watch our FPS, if I just sit here in my bed with our page file as it loads the game in, it should go up. So you'll watch those numbers slowly increase, the memory will go up, and as a result, very, very slowly, ever so slightly, you should see a FPS increase. Really, memories is going up quite a bit. Let's see if it ever stops. They fixed the desync error. That's all I'm worried about at the moment. About 16 gigs right now. 17 now. We're not really getting that many, many better frames. Let's see how, how much this will go up. If we hit the 20 mark and it continues to go up, then we'll know that. It's possibly what was causing our issue with the whole lagging and the cyclone and all that stuff. This is where we should tank the FPS in this next room at Levski. Should be pretty bad. Now let's see what we go down to. As we go through here, not too much worse. As you can see, we're getting pretty bad millisecond response time from the server. Also, could be because I'm streaming, but who knows? Let's take the misc razor out or like an M50 or something. Something quick. Maybe. Might have crashed the game. I think I did. Looks like it. Yeah, 
let's see what we were using. Using about 30 to 50 percent of our processor at points in the game. This is probably at 100 percent most of the time. Yep. So they're kind of what we expected. But uh, I'm going to hop off right now. I'm going to probably be streaming on later tonight. So check back. Hopefully we'll have some more shenanigans in 3.1. I'll talk to you guys later.